Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. I guess I was thinking about what video I should do next and I know you guys are really liking the capsule wardrobe videos and showing you guys how I style outfits and stuff like that and it kind of made me think about like how to pack and then also I'm going on vacation quite soon so it started making me think like how I'm going to pack for my vacation and maximize the amount of items I bring with me and things like that. I thought it'd be fun to show you guys how I would pack for a weekend trip and really maximize um, a very minimal amount of clothing for a bunch of different events and occasions I may be going to that weekend. I really do believe you can create several stylish looks with just a few really good pieces. So I created this mock weekend bag here. Um, as you can tell from the title as well as what I'm explaining, this is going to be very, very outfit and clothing focused. So like I didn't pack like everything I would pack for the weekend, like I'm missing my toothbrush, my uh, iPad, some other like essentials and things like that. But so this is going to be more about outfits. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right into showing you what is in here. So I apologize for this eyesore with the tripod um, legs here, but I felt like this would be a really good angle to show you guys how much room I really have in this bag. Like I said in my intro, um, I don't have everything in here because this is kind of like a mock weekend bag sort of thing. So obviously I would have um, my electric toothbrush in its case here and then my iPad as well. Um, and obviously any charging cords I may need, but this is kind of the general overlook of what I would carry in my bag. Again, this is going to be outfit focused, so try not to pay too much attention to all the other random stuff. So the first thing I have here is just this big um, toiletries bag, and this is where I would keep my toothbrush and whatever. I'm currently doing the 10 step Korean skincare, definitely essential if I am going away, even if it's just for a few days. Another case in here I have, this one will have all my makeup. Um, so this is just my glasses case. I'm not gonna show you like what everything looks like on. Again, we're focusing really on the main wardrobe, but if I were at a hotel where I had a swimming pool, I may pack a swimsuit. I would also pack workout gear. I really like matching sets. And then in this little purple pocket, that is where I will keep all of my underwear. And then I have a bunch of socks here. My rule of thumb is that you can never overpack socks. So I only have like four pairs here, but I would probably pack maybe six pairs for a three day trip. And then here is my iPhone charger. Let's get to the clothing items because that is my main focus again here. So I will show you guys my travel outfit, which has pretty much my heavier items. It's a really good tip if you're going away and you want to pack light. So I'll show you guys those after. But what is in here is my sandals and these are nice because they pack super super flat and they can definitely be dressed up um, i don't really bring heels on weekend trips because i never really need them but you can definitely certainly bring those i also have a pajama shirt in here and then i have this tank it's like a knitted tank that's just a little bit fancier and then i have a bodycon dress that is midi length. This is really thin, nice, it won't wrinkle. It's from Aritzia. And then I also have this um, blouse. It's a checkered blouse and I think it's super, super cute. So mind you, this is me packing for about three days, maybe even four. So I'm gonna show you guys the purse I'd be carrying when I travel. This is my Gucci Marmont bag. I got this about a month ago and I absolutely love it. So this is the kind of bag that I would travel with because it could be slung crossbody um, and plus it's really, really comfortable. So if you open the snap here, I just want to show you guys what I would have in here. And it's really basic stuff. It's basically my, um, Ray-Bans and I put them in this case because it's a little bit more space efficient But they just look like that and then my card holder that has any um, Cards and important IDs I may need if I'm crossing the border and then I just have a lip balm and then my cell phone and then another thing I don't have in here would be headphones, but this is pretty much the gist of it if I'm on the go. This is what I would wear um, for a travel day. So in the springtime, this is kind of the ideal outfit for myself if I am traveling and if I'm going to the airport and things like that. I want to wear a lot of layers because it can get really warm in some places and really cool in some other places. Also another good tip is to wear your heaviest things on the plane. So that is why I decided to do here with my sneakers, my denim, as well as my jacket. This is the bag I'd be carrying like I showed previously. Um, this is just big enough to fit my boarding pass, my passport, or any other important documents I need. 
and also including my phone and also room for my glasses if I needed it. So again, a really basic outfit, but I think it looks really put together. Okay guys, this is outfit number two. So after checking in at a hotel or your Airbnb or wherever, um, after a long day of traveling, I know a lot of people, the first thing they want to do is eat. So this is the kind of outfit that I wear um, when I want it to be a little bit fresher from my travel outfit or if I'm going somewhere just a little bit nicer where I don't really want to wear a crew neck. So this is just a check blouse that I got from Hollister wearing the same skinny jeans and I changed into these gladiator sandals because I just think they're really cute and also dress up a look. Um, I have my glasses on because I can't really see without them but of course you don't have to like have this as an extra styling piece or anything but it all kind of goes together. Um, I really do like this and I think this would be really cute for a dinner out. So this is outfit number three. So I would figure that this outfit would be a day look um, for the next day over. Uh, this is the kind of look that I think is really comfortable if you're just walking around a city or if you're just on the go. What I did was pair this midi dress that's super cozy and that's super, super comfortable and stretchy. And then I paired it with a crew neck t-shirt that I was actually wearing under um, my crew neck sweater in, a, in the travel outfit. So that is what I did. I paired it with the same white sneakers and then the hat. Again, this is very, very simple, but I think looks really nice to put together if you are planning on taking some pictures. Um, I love wearing dresses when I travel. I just think they're super easy, and this one is really easy to pack because it packs really, really small and also doesn't wrinkle. So this is my night look. So I kept the same dress on, and what's really cool about this dress is that you can turn it around backwards and with the back hole, actually put it in the front. So it kind of looks like you're wearing a crop top and a skirt. I think this is super, super cute um, and just has kind of like a nice racer back detailing here. Um, I wore it with the leather jacket I was wearing in my travel outfit as well as my favorite bag at the moment and kept on the sneakers because I think it gives it a very cool vibe if you're traveling in a city. This is totally an acceptable outfit to wear to dinner depending on where you're going. I think it's also really comfortable, looks dressed up enough but doesn't look like you're trying too hard. It's definitely something I would wear if I'm on a short weekend trip. I think it's just so effortless, easy to throw together and reuses a lot of the same pieces that you've worn previously without looking like you're repeating outfits. So this is my next outfit. So this is the kind of look I would wear on my last day of a trip. It's really easy, really put together. I think this is something that you could wear out for dinner as well as out and about during the day. I'm just wearing this knitted tank from Aritzia. It's a little bit more dressy, but definitely um, a good staple piece that you can layer with a bunch of different things. I'm wearing the same crop jeans from day one, and then as well as my lace-up gladiator sandals from American Eagle. Um, this outfit, again, really put together, really easy, so this is the look that I have for that. Easily could be worn at night as well, and this is definitely what I would wear on my last day of a weekend trip. And then finally, this is my very last, last travel outfit. So I'm wearing a lot of the similar pieces that I was wearing in the first one. When I look for my heaviest pieces when I travel because that way they don't take up too much room in your bag. And plus, it gets a little bit cold on airplanes. You kind of never know what climate it's going to be. But I just have the same crew neck that I had on from the beginning. And then I'm wearing a really comfy dress that I wore in a previous look, as well as my sneakers. And of course, the bag. So this is a really comfortable outfit. This crew neck can be taken on and off. So that way you can just wear the dress. If it does get a little bit warmer, you can throw the jacket on. If it's a little chillier, this is a really versatile look and really, really comfortable without having to succumb to like leggings or sweatpants. So I hope you guys enjoyed this how I style for a weekend trip. If you guys have a favorite look, I would love to know. So let me know in the comment sections down below. If you guys like this kind of video and want to see what I'm going to be packing for my upcoming vacation, definitely thumbs it up. And if you want more outfit inspo, hit me up on Instagram because that's where most of my outfit pics are going to be. Hope you guys enjoyed this one again. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.